In this video, I would like to present the latest Temple of Ascending Flame release, the Leviathan Oracle Study Book, which is based on the work of a subgroup within the Temple in the last three years. In this video, I'll present the preview of the book, sample pages, and explain how it differs from the old companion book released with the Oraculum Leviathan Tarot deck, and how it can be used for working with the Tree of Clifford. The idea of writing this book came to me when I was working with the Oraculum Leviathan study group, which was a part of the Temple of Ascending Flame for over three years. At that time, each week we would choose one card, meditate on it, and then meet on Zoom to exchange our opinions, visions, ideas and thoughts. The group was dedicated specifically to the Oraculum Leviathan deck, not Tarot in general, and the discussions brought many in-depth insights about the particular cards, their meaning and the differences between this and other tarot decks. If you're familiar with Oraculum Leviathan, you also know that it was originally released together with a companion book. This book is still available and you can get it together with the cards. Why publish another book to go with the deck then? First of all, this study book is not meant to replace the original companion book. Instead, it complements the descriptions in it, filling the gaps and providing a more extensive picture of each card. Also, while I designed the cards, I didn't write the companion book myself. It was a collaboration with another author. I designed the deck, he wrote the book to go with it. For this reason, while it gives the idea on how to work with the deck in general, it doesn't provide a creator's view of what the imagery and symbolism used in the cards represent. It's a good starting point for working with Oraculum Leviathan, but the descriptions in it refer to the tarot in general, rather than focus on the deck itself. This study book is meant to change it. Instead of presenting a generic view of the tarot, it goes deep into the meaning of each card. This provides an advanced course for those who truly want to use Oraculum Leviathan as a self-initiatory tool. Oraculum Leviathan is unique among other decks, even those with darker themes, because it's specifically addressed to a practitioner of Draconia magic, and its main theme is built around the initiatory journey through the Tree of Clifford, as it is understood and worked with in the ritual system presented in my books and in the Temple of Ascending Flame. That's why it's a useful tool for an initiate of the Temple, or someone who works with my books, especially my Clifodic trilogy, but a practitioner of Clifodic magic in general may also find it interesting for meditation and divination. Each tarot deck is always different than the others. Each one has a different symbolism, imagery, names and numbering of the cards, making it unique and providing a specific meaning that is characteristic for this deck only, not necessarily tarot in general. Oraculum Leviathan should be approached as a unique deck too. Its cards differ from the Rider Waite deck, or other popular decks that are usually described in books on tarot. For this reason, what refers to a card in another deck doesn't have to be true in the case of the same card here. That is why it is useful to have a guidebook explaining what you can see in the cards and how you can interpret them, and what they might refer to in divination. While meditating on the cards, you will most likely come up with your own ideas and personal insights, but it is good to know where to start. Now let's take a look at sample pages of the book. The first part discusses the major arcana, the cards from the Fool to the World. The descriptions of the major arcana include the explanation of the symbolism used in each card, the number, the Hebrew letter associated with it, and the corresponding pathway within the tunnels of Set. Most of this information is not included in the old companion book, and it's available only here. Here you can preview the description of the Fool, which, as you can see, is much more in-depth than before. The Minor Arcana, which present less complex concepts, are explained in regard to their symbolism and the possible meaning in a reading. Here you can see the preview of a description provided for the Ace of Pentacles, and our descriptions are provided in a similar way as this one. 
I have also included two completely new spreads, dedicated to those who work or at least are familiar with the Tree of Clifford and the ritual system presented in my other books. One is called the Unholy Trinity spread and refers to the union of Lilith, Lucifer and Leviathan. The other is called the Star of Clifford spread and the idea for it is derived from working with the entire Dark Tree. Since the old companion book was released as a cloth hardcover and it's pretty expensive, we have decided to release the study book as a paperback with a much more affordable price. It's available on Amazon and the link to the ordering page is provided in the description of this video. The book is also available as Kindle ebook and you'll find a link to it in the description too. Finally, I would like to thank everyone who participated in the discussions of the Temple Study Group, especially those who joined our Zoom meetings. I enjoyed those meetings very much, and with this book I would like to give other practitioners a chance to find out about their insights and observations about this draconian deck. More essays, rituals and other information regarding the Temple, our projects and upcoming publications can be found on our website, which is ascendingflame.com. And if you have any questions about the publications, feel free to email us or contact me directly from my website, which is asenafmason.com.